if there is one element of your wedding that I would suggest splurging on, well, it definitely would be photography. On your 30th anniversary, you likely will not remember how the catering tasted or what songs the band played, but you will have your photos to remind you of all the wonderful memories that you've made. Avoid using a friend or family member unless he or she is a professional photographer and instead opt for someone with the required skills and experience to do the right job. Take recommendations from friends and meet with several different photographers before selecting one that is right for you. Try not to choose someone just because they are cheapest, but rather because you love their style and professionalism. Set up an engagement photo shoot so that you can get to know your photographer just a little bit more and make sure you are comfortable around them. If you are uncomfortable, it will show where, well, in your pictures. As your big day approaches, make sure to provide your photographer with a shoot list. This should detail out certain poses, groups, or special moments that you want to make sure he or she captures. This will allow your photographer to schedule the day accordingly and make sure that they have the appropriate equipment and number of assistants on hand. Now, after your wedding, a first round of basic photo edits will likely be included in your photographer's package, but you can always choose to have a few of your favorites edited further. If you're trying to save some room in your budget, see if your photographer has a package that is just the digital versions of your photos. This way you'll have them all and can make the prints and select them when you're ready. You will cherish your wedding photos for the rest of your life and you won't have any opportunity to redo them if you don't like them. So please make sure to pick the photographer that is best right for you so you can ensure your memories are perfectly preserved.